Okay, I did one of the stupidest things I've ever done to to my Honda NSR150. <coughs> and I know some of you bikers out there may hate me for this. And hopefully, and pretty much I've learned my mistake and hopefully some of you guys learn my mistakes as well. So, what happened was um, this morning I went I went to get ready for work, got to my my NSR 150, tried to start it, the engine was cold, so I did the choke and and I didn't do it too much and it just was fine, just idling as I put my bike gear on. So there's the choke right there. So rode it down approaching approaching the traffic lights near my work well my mum's work where I where I work at um, so what I did cause the en I noticed the engine started struggling so I did the choke a bit more and then all of a sudden the engine just stalled and at first it, that was I thought that was that was the end of this bike and I had to let my dad know and then um, eventually it wasn't good because uh, it's gonna be because then we thought it's gonna be another nightmare with this thing just having to do a repair even though we had a nightmare repairing this RVF 400 of mine but then three hours later I went back outside the choke had the choke off tried to start it again and it worked fine so <clears throat> so now this is what you should keep in mind if you have a two-stroke motorcycle like this one. Is the choke, it may, it may confuse you when it causes the engine to not run. Because if you do the choke all the way like that, so that's all the way that's going to flood the engine with petrol and eventually the, the engine just won't go so so eventually that's why my bike had had stalled at the lights and won't start again so a little advice for when you're war warming up your bike don't use too much choke so around let's say two two or three mil millimeters apart actually actually um around four or five millimeters out just like that and it should be fine so obviously what happened was I have not touched a choke on a motorcycle for a long time which is why I had this this sort of um, embarrassment happen this morning so yeah, I know you're gonna, I know you're gonna feel like I'm a, I'm an idiot for that, but, you know, it's a good way to tell you guys my experience, sorry, my 
my mistakes and also for you to learn. So, I'll grab my keys and show you an example of what will happen. So, you start your bike. <coughs> Kick start it. See, it's running fine off the choke because the engine's warm. But then, you give it too much choke. To the point where you flood the engine. Um, this time it's not doing it, but oh yes, um, all right. Uh, so all the way is fine, but don't do it halfway. As you listen, as you listen. Yep, the bike just struggles. So make sure you just. Get the right, get the right amount of choke for for the engine. Perhaps not too much, or at least not have it all all the way, as my recommendation. Because you don't want to wreck the engine. So, so I suggest if you want the engine to last for longer, just don't give it too much choke just uh just like a tiny bit of choke should be fine engine should idle when it's cold and then as your engine warms up you can get out on the road so yeah i've already made one one mistake in in this video as well with choke but i tell you learn my mistakes and understand. No need to fuss, a, fuss about my mistakes, just understand and be aware. So, you know, two strokes, really fun to ride, but be careful how you treat it. <laughs>